I'm going to show you how to add multiple languages to your keyboard on your Samsung Galaxy Note 20 or Note 20 Ultra as well as how to switch between them on the fly. Very, very simple here. So first thing, let's go ahead and add a bunch of languages into the keyboard right now. So first thing is you want to just swipe up and you want to go directly into your settings. So let's go into settings. And then from here, we're going to scroll down until we see general management. So scroll down, we see general management right there. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And now first one up here says language and input. Let's tap on that. And then right here it says on-screen keyboard. Let's go ahead and tap that. And then you want to go down here where it says Samsung keyboard. So let's tap that as well. And the first one right here, languages and types. Remember we're under Samsung keyboard. So let's go ahead and tap on this. And you can see I have uh, two languages on here right now. I have English and I have Chinese. But let's go ahead and add um, a few more other languages as well. So let's click on Manage Input Languages, tap on down here, and add a couple other languages in here. Like, I don't know, let's do Japanese and let's do German right here. Okay, now if I go ahead and click on the back button right here, and now you can see I have English, Chinese, Japanese, and German here. Now if you look down here, it says Language Switching Method. Now by default, it's on Spacebar Swipe. So let me show you what that is. So let's just open up uh, anything that pops up your keyboard. So for instance, uh, let's just open up Google Chrome here. Here's Google here. Let's tap on that so the keyboard comes up here. Now the swipe method by default is this. If you swipe it like this, now it's on English. I can swipe it, now it's in German. Swipe it, now it's in Chinese, okay? So you can see how that works, okay? I can go ahead and swipe again. Or that was Japanese, or this is Japanese. So you can keep switching like that. Now, if we just go back into the settings here, what I like to do is this actually. So go ahead and back to your uh, Samsung keyboard, and then we're gonna go ahead and tap on the language and types again. And language and swipe method here, if you just tap on this, I prefer to have it this way, language key and spacebar swipe, okay? You can do only language key with just one, like a globe button, or you can do a swipe, or you can do both. So for instance, if we leave both here, now if I go ahead and go back to anywhere that's gonna pop up a uh, keyboard here. We'll do uh, Google Chrome here. So now you also have this key, this little globe right here. So if I tap on the globe, you can see it switching to German, English, Chinese, okay? But you can also swipe as well and change the language on the fly, okay? Pretty simple. Now, if you want to go ahead and delete one of the languages, just go back into the Samsung keyboard and then tap on that and then from here, you can just type on manage input languages, tap on that and whatever one you want to go ahead and take off of there, like Japanese and German, just like that. And now it's long gone. So if I go back, bring up a keyboard, now when you have Chinese and English, or I can tap on this globe as well. So pretty simple. Good luck.